Sioux Falls man is facing charges in more than two dozen cases in at least two states. Recently, his bond was lowered and he was released only to be arrested for committing more crimes. Police and prosecutors say watching the same suspect go free again and again can be frustrating. Police arrested Joseph Allen Miller and he was booked into jail this week. The latest charges include obstructing law enforcement and resisting arrest. Miller spent a lot of time in this courthouse with 21 cases pending against him. 13 of them filed this year. We went through the court documents and put together a list of the most serious allegations that put him in handcuffs. A stolen laptop, a camper, trailers, credit cards, $35,000 worth of tools, a bow and arrows, a wallet, and a half a dozen stolen vehicles. A year ago, after allegedly breaking into a car near the University of Sioux Falls, the victim, Paul Garcia, a USF student, says Miller flashed a gun. I just kind of looked at him. I wasn't really scared at all. Um, it did put me in a little bit of a shock, but um, I, I was pretty frustrated already. Police Chief John Toom says they are well aware of Miller and his long list of crimes. But I can tell you firsthand from our investigator standpoint, from our officer standpoint, Seeing the same name again and again becomes frustrating. Toom says some of that frustration may come from the public perception that police aren't doing their job. This particular individual, we, we have done our job. We've arrested him on numerous occasions, built cases, worked through different things. Uh, it's a little more nuanced and complicated than that, though, to let things work through the system. That system includes prosecutors and judges. Minnehaha County State's Attorney Daniel Hager says judges are always trying to find a balance between rehabilitation and deterrence. Um, back in August, we had reached uh, a plea agreement with him. He'd pled guilty to six felonies, right? He's looking at um, years of incarceration in the penitentiary. Um, at that hearing, the defense attorney made a um, argument to reduce his bond. I think he was at 50,000 cash only. The judge reduced that. He was able to post that. Unfortunately, he's committed more crime since then. Hagar says repeat offenders like Miller are a drain on the system, and that includes police and the courts. I think it's good when individuals have a chance at rehabilitation. But if they're not um, capitalizing on that, then we have to look at how do we deter them. And sometimes that's just going to be um, retribution through incarceration. Since we shot this story this morning, two more cases have been filed against Miller, bringing the total number of pending cases in Minnehaha County to 23. One of those cases involves being extradited to Minnesota to face additional charges there. Today, in court, prosecutors called him a clear danger to the community. Bond was set at $30,000 cash.